So if we're thinking about this foot traveling past the body again, and we compare this to a figure skater, let's just think about a figure skater. And often when they go to make a twirl or a spin, they'll start out with their arms really wide and outstretched and they'll get all this momentum. And then they'll tuck in really tightly where they bring all their limbs in close to their body and they spin super fast. And then they'll bring their foot out again or their arm out again and it'll slow them down. So the closer everything is to the midline, the center of your body, the faster it's going to spin by. It's the exact same thing for your leg. If you fold your leg up, towards your body. So in other words, you pull in with your hamstring, your heel towards your butt, that foot's going to come through a lot quicker and a lot easier. And it's going to use less energy to get that same movement done. And it's going to result in a faster turnover or a cadence. Whereas if we think about something where you don't need a fast turnover or cadence, something like walking or really slow running or jogging, then you don't have to have that fast turnover. Your knee and hip barely bend at all in that scenario. So one of the things that has to change with gears is how close we bring that foot in towards the body. 